the NFL trade deadline has come and it has went and it is over. And the Ravens, to my surprise, they didn't make not one single move, not one trade at all. And I know there have been a lot of back and forth with a lot of people on if the Ravens did make a move, what should it be? Because they have some problems. They have some holes. They got several holes. It's not like they, they got just one player that could come in and fix everything. Uh, they they got they would just need several guys. Uh, and it's funny because you know how a, a lot of times Ravens fans, um, I, I feel like a lot of, and, I, and I'm sure it's like this with any fan base, but I feel like with, with, with Ravens fans, uh, what I see a lot of times is that a lot of them are afraid to speak out against moves that or moves that the team either does or doesn't make. They're afraid to, to speak out and be like, oh, I don't agree with what Ravens did or I don't agree with what Ravens didn't do here because they feel like it'll make them like a bad person or a bad fan or something like that. And that couldn't be further from the truth. It really couldn't be. As long as you do it respectfully. Like if you do it disrespectfully, okay, yeah, you're a bad person. But if you do it respectfully, there's no problem with that. You say, hey, you know what? I feel like the Ravens should have done this, but they didn't. Hey, you know what? I didn't like when the Ravens did this, but it is what it is. So you can, you can do it respectfully. But anyway, I've seen, uh, I also saw yesterday where there were, uh, man, I forgot who it was, but it, it was actually kind of funny, but it just almost seemed like it was a Ravens fan trying to talk him or himself out of being upset if the Ravens didn't make any trades because they were like, well, even if we don't make any trades tomorrow, because the tweet was tweeted yesterday, the day before yesterday, but they were like, even if we don't make any trades by the trade deadline, then uh, it's like we made a bunch of trades with all the guys that we're going to be getting back. And I mean, you, that's one way to look at it, but it's, it seemed like it was just trying to like avoid heartbreak or avoid being disappointed if Ravens didn't make any moves. But I mean, when you think about it, again, Nick Boyle back, that's good. Chris Westry, he just got designated to return like a couple minutes ago. That's good. Uh, Derek Wolf, they'll be getting him back, so that's good. Um, Latavius Murray, they'll be getting him back. Sammy Watkins, they'll be getting him back. So they got some really significant guys coming back and guys that can make a big difference on a team. So these are all good things, really good things. Um, so oh, And then in the future, Patrick McCarry, whenever he heals up from that high ankle sprain. Ben Cleveland, that's another one. So, yeah, they, they got a lot of guys that will be coming back. And this Ravens team, they uh, they really did a good job this offseason of really assembling this roster. Now, nobody knew the injuries were going to hit like this because injuries ain't hit like this since 2015. Now, I still will continue to say this year is not even close to 2015. There have been a lot of injuries, yes. But in 2015, the Ravens, they lost uh, their most important player to the team. These Ravens, 2021, they have not. So that's why it's not even close. It's crazy. It's crazy and it's been painful, but it's not even close. And then the, the team has been winning. They 5-2. and two. Like the, 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 the team in 2015, they won five games. So, yeah, that comparison, I understand when a lot of people, oh, man, it's like 2015 all over again. It's not. It's really not. But anyway, um, I really thought that the Ravens were going to make a move. I thought that the max that they would do would make maybe maybe two moves, but that would be kind of pushing it because, you know, Ravens. But I thought they were going to make a move for sure. I For sure. I thought they were going to do something, especially when the Ravens had that presser. And John Harbaugh was like, um, he said, no, we, 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 don't, we don't expect to make any trades. So we're not, we're not expecting to make any trades. We're not looking to make any trades. And I was like, all right, Harbaugh. We, Come on, we, 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 we don't have this relationship with you for the past 11, 12 years. We know how you gets down, man. We know how Ravens operate, EDC and them. Even before EDC, Ozzie Newsom and them. We know how y'all get down. Smoke screen, smoke screen, smoke screen. I tweeted it out yesterday when he said that. I was like, oh, yeah, we definitely trading for somebody now. Definitely. Because this is the whole, this is the same thing. Oh, yeah. We're insulted by the, the fact that y'all think our wide receivers are bad, blah, blah, blah. And what they go out and do. And we, we've seen this. It just isn't the wide receiver thing that they did. But that's really one of the most recent things. But Ravens throw smoke screens all the time. It happens. It's, it's business. Now, you know, one thing, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get one of those tweets. <laughs> I know this would drive some Ravens fans crazy. But I wouldn't be surprised if we got one of those tweets. Whether it be from Jeff Zrebic, from Adam Schefter, Ian Rappaport, Mike Garofalo, whoever it may be. 
The Ravens tried to trade for this player, but they just didn't want to give up enough draft picks. So they just didn't want to give up enough compensation. They just didn't want to give up something. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Now, um, I know there's been a lot of discussion on the Ravens and the way that they feel about draft picks. And that discussion got raised that much more uh, this offseason where they uh, ended up trading Sean Wade to the Patriots. Um, and they ended up releasing uh, Ben Mason, and he ended up going to the Patriots too, right? I think he did. Um, so, and, and that had a lot of people frustrated, like, man, we, we got all these draft picks. We have all these draft picks, and we draft all these players, but then half of them don't even make the team. Now, I can completely understand both sides of the argument. Now, there's one side of the argument like, hey, why are we holding on to all these draft picks? It ain't like we're going to keep all the players that we draft anyway. You should be willing to give up some of those draft picks to trade for a player or in free agency to sign a player where they cancel out comp picks and all that good stuff. Then there's the other side where it's like, hey, well, the more draft picks you got, the more opportunities you have to hit on players. Because the more chances you take, the more opportunities you got to do your thing, to, to, to come out with a good draft pick. So understand both sides. Me, I'm of the more aggressive side, like... Get the player right now. Get that, that proven guy. Get the, the, the guy that you can trade for. That's me. It's not everybody, and I can understand that, and that's fine. But it is what it is. So uh, I had a question. Well, we got a question from Isaac. He said, uh, what's up, Engraven? How's the bye week treating you? Well, bye week's over now. We're back to business. But anyway, he said, uh, all is well, I hope. Anyway, since the trade deadline... Oh, he sent it five, five minutes before it expired. He said, since it expires in about five minutes and the Ravens haven't made a move yet, I will assume that nothing is going to happen. So I wanted to get your first reaction to the Ravens not making a midseason trade this year like we have for the past few years. Is this a testament of faith in our guys on our roster? It could be. <laughs> but let's look at the next part. He said, or rather, is it to, due to the lack of space in our salary cap? Much love. Appreciate it, Isaac. Um, so yeah, it's uh I think it's a mix of both. Um, to where the Ravens are like I because I, for me, I just who who is one guy that the Ravens could get right here, right now, that would just really make that difference? Who is that? Now some could say a running back, and I think a running back would definitely make a difference, um, especially a good young one who got that got some good burst to him. Um, but then his job is contingent on the offensive line. Um, so, I mean, it just, wh what's that position to where we could just, it could be like, oh, all right, let's go. This is the one. This is the one. I certainly don't see it on defense. I certainly, like, because I feel like like they need so much on defense. And, and not, you know what, not even that they need so much on defense. I feel like the biggest issue with defense is scheme. Scheme, 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 scheme. I feel like the scheme is just is 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 too much, and it needs to be simplified. But we'll we'll talk about that later. Um, but on offense, offensive lineman, well, yeah, that could do a lot. But I mean, uh, that's what they signed Ogbuie for, and we'll see how he does if given the opportunity. Um, but offensive line that would make a big difference because that that would help everybody on offense out a lot. It would help out Lamar, give him more protection. Help out the running backs, get him more uh, more holes to run through. Uh, help out the tight ends, wide receivers, can allow them to do their routes or whatever and get open. Um, it would just it would help out everybody. So I feel like offensive line that would be like one of the biggest things that they could acquire. But <clears throat> if somebody's willing to give up an offensive lineman, then is that offensive lineman really ev even that good? If they're willing to part ways with him. Just something to think about. And you, know, you never know. Sometimes some people just need a fresh start. They just need new scenery. They just need to be in a new environment. Um, but, yeah, that's that. So, Ravens, they uh, they didn't make any moves, and they roll on what they got. So, as the team gets healthier, that will allow them to be that much better. Um, but health, <laughs> health can't teach you how to tackle. So, hopefully... Uh, Cause the tag, oh my goodness, the tagline has been so bad. Uh, hopefully they they get that all cleaned up this week. They should be going to practice, returning to practice tomorrow. Um, so yeah, now let's just see how things end up turning out. 
Got the Vikings this week, and that should be a um, good game. Ravens coming off the bye, but we'll, we'll talk about that game when we talk about that game. Um, but we had to make it through this trade deadline first. So now that all that's cleared up, we know what the team is moving forward. Well, for the most part, you know, sometimes injuries happen, so you got to sign a guy here, sign a guy there, and whatnot. It's practice squad call-ups and releases, all that good stuff. But we know the core of this Ravens team moving forward. So now it's no, oh, are we going to get this guy? Are we going to get that guy? Should we trade for this guy? That's done now. So let's see what these boys got. Because you have no more bye weeks. You got none. Unless you get a number one seed now. Well, I know a lot of Ravens fans are like, oh, well, I don't think we want the number one seed because they got scarred from last time. Um, but you have no more bye weeks now. So this is it. This is it. You're five and two. You're sitting at a really good spot. Des- despite all the problems, despite all the tackling issues, despite the offensive line issues, despite the uh, running back issues, despite some spotty cornerback play here and there, d- despite the, just the defense not being a Ravens defense. Despite all the injuries, despite all of that, you're sitting at five and two. So that's good. So now it's just time to get better and time to move forward. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Odell Beckham Jr.'s daddy wants him to be with it comes to the Cleveland Browns, I'm out. Ooh, that was just too petty. I'm out.